viewers and subscribers what a go on a blessed and wonderful sunday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media now my peeps i don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning we have to give thanks and praise to the most high creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest so to all of the ones and ones them traversing the church in the morning there, I don't know, remember on the Spot News Media, it's loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers. When I see how Jamaica run, we definitely need that now more than ever. And to all of the ones and ones them in the kitchen, you don't know, I deal with the finger licking chicken. Today are the official red rice and roaster day. Yeah, man, may I tell you. So anyway, my peeps, you don't know, safe travel, pan the gravel, just continue to look out on the corner here. Yeah, can remember what? The old dirty corner boy, them always out there lurks. So we are going to kick it off this morning, my peeps, over there in the western section of the island. I tell you, say, the west is definitely not the best. But since the other day, my peeps, Officer Yeman Pick definitely are going with a decent spot of work. It would have seemed as if him and the minister sit down and have a serious talk and the minister would have given him certain instructions to make sure say yo certain things is dealt with in a certain type of way. Now since Wednesday, Officer Yeman Pick depend a serious piece of work. Cause you don't know that he was recently promoted down a John Shop this or so. Officer Yeman Pick and his team members, that is his team members from the counter terrorism and organized crime branch. See tack man them. So after them near Motombo food, they were given a particular instructions to cross parish borders which led them to the Hague settlement over there in the parish of Chulani. It was reported that an illegal party was in process in full flight but a whole heap of armed dirty criminal elements was also among the patrons of that illegal party. Now, Officer Yeman Pick got the support also from military members. You don't know if they make sure say the thing have enough personnel stepping into that unknown territory. Cause you don't know say a party say no say a whole heap of people are going there. So he definitely needed the support from the Jamaica Defence Force to provide that card so them can move in and search. So of course that was their plan. So upon entering the party why may I tell you, the youths, them nay nothing right. They were greeted with a hail of bullets. We are talking about, about 2.15 a.m. in the wee hours of the morning. So you don't know Officer Yeman Pick and team and also the JDF members in a bit to save their own lives and of course that of their colleagues. They took evasive action and the fire was returned. Yeah, man, may I tell you. So after the smoke clear and the battle has been won, remember, you know, my peeps, that the Commissioner of Police, Major General Anthony Anderson, clearly stated that any engagement, any knockings and clappings between criminal and members of the security forces, the JSF or the JDF, they must come out on top. They must win that battle. They must be victorious. And said so, said done, because three man, yeah man, spread out like a sheet, no longer among the land of the living. The deceased men have since been identified as this person here on your screen, 21-year-old to saying Clegg Horn. 
and also 26 year old Trevor Ryan, otherwise called Beanie or Teller in the streets. And last but definitely not the least, 23 year old O'Shane Surgeon, otherwise called Pimento in the streets. All of Hague addresses in Chulani. The police report also suggests that after the knockings and clapping subsided, Cleghorn, Ryan and Surgeon were immediately transported to the Falmouth Hospital where they were pronounced you know what. Three semi-automatic pistols, a black Taurus pistol fitted with a magazine containing six live 9mm rounds. Also another black Taurus pistol fitted with a magazine containing five live 9mm rounds. And a Beretta 9mm compact pistol with a magazine containing six live 9mm rounds was reportedly taken from the deceased men. Sad to say, my peeps, but a Jamaica Defence Force personnel a soldier was also hit during that fiery exchange with those criminal elements. The JDF member was also transported to the hospital where he remains in stable condition. So, my peeps, want to see where I go on right now? Country badness up. Yeah, man, may I tell you, but Officer Yeman yeah, Pick and Team definitely on a certain type of trajectory. Right now, the man them dep on a clean up campaign. As the minister stated, you know, and also the commissioner of police, that they have rolled out operations relentless too. So, this was one of the relentless efforts of the police officers and also the army personnel to rid our communities of crime producers. So over there in the parish of St. Andrew, you know, who remember this brother up on the screen right now? Yeah, man, the infamous Rudolph Shaw, otherwise known as Boxer in the street. The reputed gang leader for the wildlife gang over there in Homestead, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. One of Jamaica's most wanted man. Well, this man in the Underspot News Media definitely come for giving out the news that Rudolph Shah is no longer among the land of the living. Yeah, man, may I tell you, the same team, may I tell you, my peeps, said the man, them dip on a piece of work. But name Rudolph Shah food, same way, broke the plate of bad man market. But not only Rudolph Shah, you know, one of his accomplices, his criminal accomplices, was also taken out in that knockings and clappings incident. So let me give you the full rundown as it relates to Rudolph Shah's knockings. Yeah, man. So two days basically, you know, after his daring escape from the Kingston Central Police lockup. Rudolph Baksasha end up losing three points. Another man who has not yet been identified was also taken out during that operation. So information reaching on the spot news media is that Rudolph Shaw, otherwise known as Baksa in the streets, a role with one of him knockies and clappies them from over Spanish town. But them feel so them smarter than police, you know, so them get a female you now. If you deal with certain type of transactions for them and them still wear the little covering over them face and put on a one hat for try for disguise. So they checked in at a guest house, you know them little secluded little guest house type of thing there on Sanjunam Avenue. So Sanjunam Avenue for those who don't know runs off Mullines Road. So the police them get the intel and decide say yo, them are going to get the team together, officer him and pick and team and roll in upon them bilious. So when time the police them enter the premises, alone can the man them start beat. We don't know say from Rudolph Shah escape from Central and him definitely give up on life and know say yo anytime him and the police them square off alone dirt settings. So I guess he make up his mind, but him did want to carry one or two with him. But guess what? He was not successful. So as I stated earlier, upon the police entering the premises, they were greeted with gunfire. So the superior training of the police officers definitely kicked in and they took evasive action in a bit to save their life and the lives of their colleagues and deal with the matter a certain type of way. So after the smoke clear and the battle has been won, Shaw and his male counterpart, Yemen, was found suffering from a portion of carnop wounds. 
two 9mm pistols were also removed from their bodies. The lone female that was in the company of Shaw and his criminal accomplice was taken into custody by the police and further questioned. She lucky so she's still among the land of the living because she too should have fall up in the Gideon. Yeah man may I tell you because once you willing for rule with a man like Shine where you know say is Jamaica's most wanted right and now recently escaped from out of Kingston Central police lock up and you can take it by yourself for rule with him go book him in a guest house and all of these type of things. You deserve a spread out like a sheet beside him. Yeah man, a tree casket should have go down in a hole instead of two. And I said that without any apology. Some of them all cross mighty man for me the same fiery end like their male counterparts. Yeah man, may I tell you? Because this a girl clearly a be a gunman. She want in she hole. She like that. Yeah man. So my peeps, the thing rough out a John shop there. So to all these would-be criminals and all criminal elements presently, make this be an example to you all for turn away from that criminal lifestyle that you so crave and love. It na go end well for no. So nobody feel like saying no, you na go play the same stupid games and no win a hail of bullets for no prizes. Yeah man, may I tell you no. Now, but I feel like say, the squad of them and the soldier them, they're not joke business. A straight dirt settings. The man them, they pan. The man them not carry no in. Once you no put up a resistance, you will be taken out. Yeah, man. So for those who can't hear, tell God say, who no shall feel. And for those who have ears to hear, let them hear. And as always, a word to the wise is definitely sufficient. So I just hope that these few words of encouragement now fall upon deaf ears and at least one or two of the ones and ones them living the criminal lifestyle can listen and take heed and preserve them life. Save your mother the heartache and pain to bury her child because no matter how bad you be now, Mummy still love you. Yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.